Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee and Crafting. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lori and welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I have three beautiful farmhouse country DIYs using thrift store items and fusion milk paint. So if you like home projects, thrift makeovers, and easy to make home decor all on a budget, then I hope you will consider to subscribe to my channel and join my DIY family. So grab a coffee or your favorite drink and let's start. For this DIY, I have a wood frame that I got at the thrift store. I'm going to paint the frame with the vintage laurel milk paint by Fusion. I mix 50-50 part milk paint and water together and stirred well, letting it sit for about 10 minutes before painting the frame. and I gave it two coats of paint. I have this beautiful recycled romantic project blocks decoupage paper that I'm going to apply on top of the wood frame. I brushed DIY liquid patina on the wood and placed the magazine part of the decoupage paper on top, doing small sections at a time. I used my brayer to roll out any wrinkles. I used my X-Acto knife to remove the excess paper along the edges of the wood frame. I sealed the paper and frame with a coat of the big top. And to finish this DIY, I brushed DIY dark wax on the frame and edges of the paper. Sweetness could 
could reach everyone, there'd be no wars. will sing about your heart maybe the trees will whisper the word maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope I love how this frame turned out it has a beautiful high-end vintage look and the vintage laurel it's probably my favorite milk pink color. I will be making over my back porch in the spring and I will be adding this beautiful piece. For this DIY, I found a mini wood bench at the thrift store. I gave the bench two coats of the vintage laurel milk paint by Fusion. I used my blow dryer to dry the second coat of paint so I could get a little crackling on the bench. I gave the bench a coat of the big top to seal the paint from chipping more. I have a rub-on transfer from the Dollar Tree. I applied the farmhouse part on the bottom part of the bench. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. And to finish this DIY, I added pieces of floral foam inside the bench and added three lamb's ear picks from Walmart on the side and in the center. I added two ivory flowers that I had on hand in between the lamb's ear. This bench turned out adorable. I love the color and the farmhouse country look of it. I'll be adding this to my back porch as well. Let me know what you think of this DIY. For this DIY, I have a metal hanging basket from the thrift store. 
I spray painted the basket with the matte white spray paint from Rust-Oleum to cover up the original paint. I gave the basket three coats of the vintage laurel milk paint using my blow dryer to dry each coat to get a crackle chippy look on the basket. I brushed DIY white wax on the basket and wiped off the excess to get a whitewashed look. It's 
I gave the basket a coat of big top to seal the paint. I picked the bird transfer from the IOD Brocant transfer pad. I used the tool it comes with to apply the transfer in the middle of the basket. I love how this transformed into a beautiful farmhouse country decor piece that I can use for magazines, flowers, or even mill in my back porch. This definitely is one of my favorite DIYs that I've made. I hope you were inspired today with some new ideas for those thrift store finds or items you may have in your home that needs just a little TLC. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today and I hope I'll see you in my next video. So until then, have a beautiful day and bye for now. <music>